Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. So I wanted to see what kind of mods they had right now for the game, so I went on the forums. And it turns out there's actually a ton of mods available for this game right now. So I downloaded a few of them. A couple of them I've had before. One of them is the water mod. I got an improved version of that. And I also have a mod that actually allows you to change how, uh, how powerful the water cannons are. Because right now it's only on a thrust of one. And now you can ramp it up to a thrust of 400 times. That is freaking insane. This machine... Oh, hang on a second. I gotta bring it back up to one. Bring it up to one. Damn it. Can I type it in? Yes, I can. One point... Oh, there. Okay. This machine is actually designed to work with um, a thrust of one, I would imagine. I don't think you need to have a mod on for this. I could be wrong, but I downloaded a while ago, um, and I ended up not actually showing it in a video. The other mod I have, by the way, is the Rockets mod. That one I've also had before. The one that I haven't had before is the Water mod that allows you to change the thrust. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys this one real quick, and then we're going to do some other crazy shit. I hope, if it works. Okay, so this is a trebuchet. Let me see if V lets it go. Yes, it does. Cool. This is a trebuchet that's powered by the um, the water cannon, so I'm just going to... Actually, I guess you could just spin this around really fast before you threw it, so it wouldn't need to have that great of a thrust on it, would it? If you just do that... Oh, Jesus. And V. Oh, God, where'd it go? I have no idea where it just went. <laughs> Hang on. What we can do here is we can actually take a grabber and we can put it on so it grabs the ground and I might as well turn it towards these guys while I'm at it so I can hit them there you go and start no I didn't put the grabbers on got to turn them on so they grab static objects for some reason they reset every time which is annoying because I had a cool thing I wanted to show you but it turns out every single grabber needs to be like reset and I didn't want to do it so we'll have to wait till another time okay so that grabs the ground everything's good now and it should be able to spin around nice and fast okay it definitely does. It still wobbles a bit, but it's not going to fall over. That's all that matters. Uh, we can actually turn this down, because I want to be able to see exactly when we should throw it. So, maybe here? Yes! Perfect! It hit right on the top, but I didn't get to kill any of these guys. Wait for it. Someone's going to die. Someone's going to die. Thank you. Okay, this time we're going to try it again, but better. Oh, I think I got it. Yes! <laughs> I blew up three of them, and the other guys are just like, well, not our problem. Okay, anyway, that is the uh, water-powered trebuchet. I don't even want to know what's going to happen if I put this on, like, 400 times. But I'm going to do it, okay, because I'm crazy. 400 times. Jesus, this is not good. Not good at all. I guess I should put it on, like, hold to shoot as well. This is gonna, just going to go nuts as soon as we turn it on. I just know it. Okay, full speed and Y. Whoa, okay, so if you touch it even a tiny bit, it goes really, really fast. Not exactly 400 times, but uh, it's probably because the game can only go so fast. But that's how fast it goes, and then if you hit V, it just hit the ground. Great. And I also removed the grabbers when I did that, so then it fell over. Okay, cool. Now it's somehow standing up like this. That's fine, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now that that's done, I want to show you guys the new and improved water mod, or I should say, a, a different version of the water mod that's better, because it's not by the same dude. Point is, if you turn on water, it looks like this now, which is super freaking nice. It's still, it looks a bit funny if you put, like, a vehicle in there. I'll show you what I mean. If you put a vehicle in there now, it doesn't exactly, like, bob up and down in the water the way you'd expect it to. It floats up into the water and then kind of hovers above it. But if you have a vehicle that's kind of, uh, I guess, deep enough, It'll look like it's just hanging out in the water. At least I think that's the way it is, but I'm going to show you guys a vehicle that I think is amazing that should demonstrate it. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the battleship. Holy crap. Look at all the parts that this thing has. It is absolutely amazing. There's so many parts in it that it actually has to be played on 5% speed so it doesn't lag. Um, it's funny because there's actually a bunch of propellers on that as well, so you could drive it around. I don't know what the controls are. I guess I could, you know... Pause it and look it up. Let's see. Controls. Here. Okay. It's left, right, up, and down. Well, that's good. That's easy to follow. All the cannons seem to work as well. I'm not going to bother trying to fire them and stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted to look at this thing because it's super freaking beautiful. So, we have to press up, down, left, right, and see if we can drive this around. It's going to be weird. Can I, like, maybe increase the speed just a little bit so we can maybe drive it? See, as I said, guys, if you had the right kind of vehicle, it doesn't look weird in the water, but if you had something really tiny, it just kind of floats above the water. Like, this one here doesn't really look like it's um, floating. It looks like it's actually in the water. Well, that's what boats do in the water, Matt. They float. No, what I mean to say is it doesn't look like it's floating above the water. 
You understand what I mean. Is this thing tipping over? Why you gotta be tipping over? What's your problem? Jeez. So, I guess we can also turn it. If we try hard enough. Basically, this thing is way too big and laggy to try and drive around. So, I'm not gonna try and do it. I just think it looks freaking awesome. And I had to show you. So the only other vehicle I wanted to show you guys today is the submarine. Obviously right now there's not enough water for it to function properly. I don't really know the controls either. But um, yeah, if we add more water by going into the console and typing in water height and sticking it on something, I don't know, big I guess. Water height 15 perhaps? Okay, maybe try like 25. Water height 25. There. Okay, that's enough water. Now you can drive the submarine around no problem. So the controls on this thing are, oh Jesus, this is just a mess. What the hell am I doing? Uh, <laughs> up, up is a control, I believe. And the propeller on the back is on, oh, it automatically spins. Okay, that's cool. That works for me. Go. Out of bounds. What do you mean out of bounds? Fuck off. There is no out of bounds. It's like the game forgot that I'm in free build mode right now. Oh, it's floating to the surface. This is not good. I think we may need to put on, um low gravity for this no i guess i guess a submarine can float to the surface that makes sense right you're floating way too high stop that what are you doing why are you, why are you going up so high jeez that does not look right hang on um maybe if we put on gravity it'd be different gravity zero gravity okay try that are you still gonna float or are you just gonna chill there okay if you put on zero gravity it's not affected by water and now you can use like water cannons to move your vehicles around in the water which i think is really cool for some reason i think if you had this mod on Water cannons don't actually work anymore. Like, they don't show the water animation when water comes out. Okay, yeah, so this thing is really big. Also really laggy and hard to control. But uh, it's a submarine, okay? It subs in the marine. We should make our own little submarine type thing. I saw the, the guy who made this, I think, Besiege This. It's a channel that I mentioned before. I think he made the submarine. And he showed something really cool in one of his videos. Basically, if you just add, like, um, ropes behind you, it looks really cool when you're moving around in the water. You can make, like, fish and things like that. So, I mean, we could try and make our own fish. It's probably going to look really dumb if we do. But we could try it, because why not, right? Hang on a second. Why make a fish when you can make a mermaid? This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to try it, okay? We're going to try and make a mermaid. This is probably going to look really, really stupid. But we're doing it anyway. We just need to get ourselves some... Where is it? Mechanical, right? Okay, some contractible springs, maybe? No, that's not gonna work. I don't know, it might. We'll see. Okay, this is what I had in mind when I said mermaid. Like, you see how there's a tail here now? I guess you could uh, you could add even more springs to it if you wanted. You could just stick a whole bunch in there, like, mm, uh, come on, do your thing. There you go, another spring there and there, and do the same thing on the bottom, because I only attach them to one place, but if you, you know, you bring it from multiple places at the same time, you can make something that looks even more solid, I guess. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I never do, so you can't really expect that much from me, guys. Come on. So if we added, like, a steering hinge here and then made it steer, mm, he's not going anywhere. Come on, you need to go somewhere while you're at it, man. We need, we need to put some sort of propulsion on him. Let's pretend that instead of a real mermaid, he's actually some sort of, like, I don't know, bootleg mermaid who doesn't even have the ability to swim. So he uses these, uh, you know, water cannons instead. Wait, mermaid, what are you doing? Wrong way. Stop. <laughs> okay, so if you turn it now, it, it only turns the tail and doesn't turn the other thing. So we need to we need to change that as well. What if we move them up? Would that make a difference? Probably not. Okay, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it kind of works. You can use the tail. I don't know what this is doing. Oh, we can make a jellyfish! We can make a jellyfish out of this thing. That's probably the best idea I've had so far, because this mermaid thing is just not working out. Get out of here, mermaid slash merman. I don't like you. Okay, let's make ourselves a jellyfish. This is also not going to work that well, but probably better than the other idea, okay? If I had those circular things going on here now, like, some people uh, design them like circular templates so you can make things out of them. If I had one of those, it'd probably be easier, but let's just make like a, I don't know, a rudimentary version of it. Not that anything I ever make is anything other than rudimentary, because that's the best I can do. Oh my god, guys, it actually works. I'm going to show you in a second, but I first got to delete these things because they're not important. And then I'm going to change the water level to something insane, like um, the water height, um, 100. Put it on 100. There. Water is freaking everywhere. And now watch this once I get rid of the console. Go away, console. There. Go. So we press Y to start it, okay? And then you just do this, and it's a freaking jellyfish. Look at that. <laughs> I, I could improve this design, obviously, but it was just something random that I came up with, as you know, because you were there when it happened. You do need to put these, um, 
the bracers in between all the parts or else they're just going to go everywhere. But like this, it's just jelly fishing around, man. It made it to the top. Look at that. And up it goes, because that's obviously what would happen. Oh, wait, yeah, because it has water cannons on it. The jellyfish is now a jelly bird. <laughs> jelly bird. Oh, God. What am I doing right now? I'm flying a jelly bird into space. That's what. Okay, so I went so high that the entire ground disappeared, and I still haven't froze to death, so I'm assuming it's not going to happen. Let's do something else now instead. All right, so the other thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to try and make some sort of boat for the for the knights. I got the rocket mod on right now and the water cannon mod on, so it should be pretty easy to make something that can actually drive around. So I'm going to try and make a rudimentary boat, and we'll see how that works. Well, this is not good. Apparently our boat is going into the water when we turn on our water cannon. Maybe that's because I have it in the air. Maybe if I put it in the water, it'll be different. Let's hope that's the case, okay? Because I just worked on making a little tiny boat, and I want it to work. Okay, why? Okay, now it's going out of the water. Can we just get a middle ground here? Oh, we're on zero gravity. Never mind, guys. That was the problem. Now the boat is in the water, and we are slowly going forwards. We put this thrust on a whole bunch. We should be fine. Let's put on, like, uh, five. I think five should be a good thrust for this. Five thrust, and we'll hold to shoot so we can, you know, control it better. And we're going to drive over. We're going to pick these guys up. We're going to go on a little adventure. We need more than five, because five is not cutting it for me. I'm putting it on, like, 20. Okay, I don't even care. 20! Let's do this. Whoa. Well, apparently, no matter what you put it on, it's still going to be extremely slow. I don't want a slow boat, man! Why you got to do this to me? I wanted a fast boat. I wanted a speed boat. I wanted to go on a speedy adventure with these guys, but apparently we're just going to have to settle for something really slow. Okay, it just needs a lot of thrust. I think it's doing slightly better now on 100 times thrust, so let's just go with that, okay? Now we just got to put some seats in our boat, because obviously boats need seats. Because what else are you going to do with the dudes when you put them in there? They're just going to die. They're going to fall around. They're going to die, and I don't want that. They've done enough dying in their days. How many guys are over here? Hold on. I got to do a head count. Where the hell are you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ah, uh, I guess one person has to drive the boat, so it's not really that bad that it's a uh, uneven number. The boat driver will sit here. Then there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that! I made the perfect boat for these guys. Now I just need to get them in it. That's the hard part. So here they come. They want to get in the boat. I'm gonna turn on zero gravity now, and hopefully they don't all float away because I wanted to put them in the boat. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. Turn off zero gravity. And you guys hit the water and died. Really? And that's what you call a pussy right there. Guy number one is getting in the boat. Move it ahead, and there you go. Guy number two. Oh, shit. Sorry, guy number two. Didn't mean to do that. Let's start over again. That was a big lapse in judgment right there. We're going to try again. Lift you up. I don't know how to lift people up. I'm really bad at this. Up you go. Spin you around and put you in. Oh, my God. I could actually do this. I could actually get dudes in my boat without killing them. Oh, shit. I'm excited. And now you, behind the boat. Please do not die. Oh, shit! Well, fuck yeah. You're staying behind. Can't believe I got, like, every single dude except for that one guy who decided he was going to stand in the back of the boat and die. Well, we'll just say that he hit the propellers, okay? He hit the propellers on our boat, and he died from it. That's, that's just how it worked. There. One more guy. Don't screw it up, buddy. Do not screw it up. There. I got him. Look at that. It's a boat full of knights, and we're ready to go on an adventure together. Yeehaw! Go! <laughs> they look so excited, man. It's the one thing I love about these guys is they always look like they're ready to party. That, that's it. They're just, they're just, like, the best friends you can have. Anytime you want to do anything, these guys are like, yes, let's do it. Fuck yeah. So now we're going on a, on a boat adventure, and pretty soon, I'm going to speed up time so we can get there quicker. We're just going to bob up and down until we get to the end of the map, and we're going to throw these guys out the end of the map, and they're going to die. Who's ready to fly off the edge? You've never gone this far before. Your entire life has been made up of this one little square piece of land. And it's time for you guys to explore the rest of it. Let me just turn a little bit so we're more on track here. There you go. And away you guys go. It was really great knowing you. You're some really cool dudes. And why aren't you dropping off the edge, man? This is not how it's supposed to work. Well, let's just go back for a second, okay? Let's just try one more thing. What if we just stuck more water cannons on these guys? You think that'd work? If we just stuck a whole bunch of water cannons on, you think that would make a difference? Let's just go here. Okay, we're on 100 thrust, so we'll put them all on 100 thrust. There you go. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Don't you worry. All right. Now, how fast does this thing go? 
It goes faster. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We still got some control because we got the one in the back. So I think this could work. Yeah. Okay, let's bring them back and try and get them all in this time. <laughs> try not to let any of them die. There it is, buddy. There it is. And there's just one guy left. He better not be that guy. Oh, he's not that guy. Not today. Rotate him around. Come on. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There you go. Lift him up. And it's about to happen, guys. I don't think I've ever gotten all the knights to do anything before. It's just so hard to get these guys together. Whew. I did it. And away we go. Amazing. This is amazing. I think the same thing is going to happen, guys. But, I mean, look how cool it looks. This is a cooler looking boat. And I love it. And we're all here. We don't have to worry about that one guy who accidentally got himself killed. Classic Randy move. We're going to call him Randy. This is where our adventure ends for the second time. But this time, I'm hoping it's actually going to end. We just might need to go a little bit further out into the, uh, I was going to say the ocean, but into the abyss. I don't know. We're going to go further out into this place where there's nothing. And eventually, oh, what's happening? Nope. It looked like they were going down, but they're not. Ah! I'm going to just speed it up. Here we go. Speed it up. Speed it on up. When is the ground going to end? Seriously. There is like an out of bounds on this map, right? There always was. There. We reached it. And you guys are still going. Really? Is this, is this really what you're going to do? This is some real bullshit right here. If I had a way to kill you guys right now, I would totally do it. Wait, I could just grab the boat and flip it over. Oh no, you're capsizing. Gah, got him. How many are left? This one guy right here is left. Wow, you are a real special snowflake, you are. How do I kill you? Just grab you and give you a quick tug? Oh, that sounds wrong. Wade? Randall? Hey, that's close enough to Randy, right? Okay, I'm looking at all the names here, guys, because I always end up not being able to figure out which guy it was. But we got Wade, Henry, Alistair, Avery, Warner, Luther, Warner, and Randall. Wow, congrats to those two guys with the same name. And killing you. Joke'em. His name was Joke'em, guys. And now he's dead just like everyone else. All right, guys, well, I'm going to end this video here. As I said, there's a whole bunch of mods out for Besiege right now. I think one of them might be a level editor. I tried a level editor before, but it was basically just a few things you could modify. I'm hoping this one is a real level editor so we can make actual levels and try and beat them. That would be really cool. We're waiting on a new update, Besiege, and it's probably going to take a while, so it would be really cool if we had something to do until then. Because sometimes it, I just get sick of just driving vehicles around. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.